SpaceX has an entirely separate constellation of spy satellites known as Star Shield. So what is Starship? At least 100 modified satellites for use for encrypted military communication and uh, in some cases actually spying. So are they the same hardware? Like these are just Starlinks owned by the, the military? So they're modified Starlink satellites. So I think they have some slightly different technology on them. So is this SpaceX by themselves or are there other companies involved here? SpaceX worked with Northrop Grumman to develop a lot of this technology here. Obviously, SpaceX brought the base what Starlink offers and I think whatever the NRO wanted to add, Northrop Grumman helped do that. So isn't there a concern that by militarizing these satellites, you're making a target of them? Definitely. The more militarized Starlink gets, the bigger a target is for either somebody that's looking to start a conflict or somebody that just wants to flex their might. But absolutely, yeah. Right. So I was reading about Russia's new Starlink killer. What, Kalinka? Is that what they call it? What is that? Kalinka, yeah. So it's a system of jammers to jam the, the ground terminals. So you're dishy or in the case of people in Ukraine, I mean, they have ground terminals that are, are using Starlink. And so as long as you have a jammer that can put out a signal that's stronger than the satellite that's 300 miles away, you can kind of drown out that satellite signal and just knock out the signal at the ground station. So they're, they're not targeting the satellites themselves. They're more just trying to jam the ground terminals. Yeah. One of the things that's very obvious about you know Starlink is right now it's a very open system. I mean, not only is it well published what frequencies they're using, so you know what to jam, but there's a website where you can go look up where each of the satellites will be when. I mean, if they want to point dishes at the satellites, there's a website where they can pull up where to point the dish to jam the satellite. Yeah, I think it's difficult to really hide that stuff. So I think it makes sense to make it all public, but it certainly makes it easy for somebody that's looking to disrupt it. Yeah, and they're really putting themselves in that kind of position. They've given 500 of these Star Shield terminals to the Ukraine already, and now the US government is funding them going all the way up to 3,000. Yeah, we're providing these terminals and making it an important part of somebody's networking that's in a conflict. And so we're, we're certainly making that, you know, the whole Starlink constellation a, a target for somebody that wants to disrupt that. Yeah. And disrupting orbital constellations is not difficult, right? Back in 2019, India famously shot down a satellite, which, you know, as I recall, didn't make anyone happy. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, yes. please stop. We know you can shoot down satellites, right? I mean, once you yep. blow up a satellite, you have these little pieces of metal whizzing around at super high speed, which can take out other satellites, leading to more pieces of metal whizzing around. Exactly, yeah. And we're starting to have a lot of satellites up, right? Yes, there's a lot of metal floating up there. And so it's... Uh... SpaceX now has more than 6,000 satellites. Amazon just announced they're going to put up 3,000 more satellites over the next two years. There's a lot of satellites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot up there. And it, it can certainly lead to some you know, cascading situation where you have a bunch of satellites that are destroyed and their debris destroys a bunch more and that destroys a bunch more. And pretty soon all that's up there is a cloud of metal. And it's, Sandra Bullock. And Sandra Bullock, yes. <laughs> <laughs> As someone on Reddit observed, all you need to do to take down one of these constellations is to put a rocket full of gravel into the same orbit as the satellites and then just step back and the gravel will take care of everything. So it's a dangerous game, like militarizing space is you know, not such a great idea. So there's another funny thing here. They're spy satellites. They fall under the NRO, the National Reconnaissance Office of the U.S. government. And their director said, and this is actually a quote, you can't hide because we're constantly looking about the, these two Star Shield satellites spying on everyone all the time. It seems like an odd thing to say or to admit or... Yeah, it's brag about. tough to know if it's just bravado or if that's really how he feels or if he's just, it's tough to say, but it, it is an interesting thing to say. I think usually the directors of the NRO have been pretty quiet and not really in the limelight, um, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> you, you almost imagine that as, as one of the spy people, everything he says must be a lie, right? <laughs> so if he says they're not spy satellites, and I would assume they're watching everything. But since he says they're watching everything, does that mean they don't work? I don't, I'm never going to figure it out. I can't go down the, these rat holes. So is Elon Musk controlling the spy satellites? So it's not completely clear. Believable rumors have it that the NRO is controlling them and they're at kind of a different elevation than regular Starlink. So it sounds like no. Yeah, that would make sense that SpaceX gets them up there and then they hand them off. I think that's exactly right. I mean, you wouldn't want to know, right? Right. <laughs> Want to hear more tech discussions like this? 
Subscribe for more.